All right, welcome back, Chef Brian's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be doing a flounder with a lemon butter sauce. Now this recipe is so delicious and it's so easy, but you gotta follow a couple simple steps that I know you can do. And if you do this right, it will be on your weekly eat list, I promise you. Let's get started. We're gonna get our burner going. And in this, as we always do, we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil. All right. Now today we're using, actually we're using some tilapia. You can use flounder. You can use just about whatever you want. You can even use salmon, you can use shrimp. It's all up to you. The key is do what is you find is the freshest in the store. Whatever is fresh, okay, that's what you should use. The recipe stays the same. It's gonna be a nice lemon butter. We're gonna finish it off with some beautiful herbs. It's going to be fantastic. Now, as you can see, I've got four wonderful fillets of tilapia. We've got some basic all-purpose flour that we're just going to lightly dredge, and then we're gonna place it into our hot pan. While the pan is getting hot, we're gonna do our season our fish as we always do because it doesn't come pre-seasoned. So we need some kosher salt. And we need some black pepper and then we turn very nicely like so and we hit it to the other side now we've got our pan nice and hot let's take our fish and we dredge lightly into the flour, like so, and just shake off. One of the tricks that I teach in my classes is when you put anything into a hot pan, you come from, from you and then you go outwards. This way the oil does not splash on you. See that? Dredge, shake off, away, like so. Dredge. Shake off. Away. And the last piece. Beautiful. All right, now you can see our fish is nice and coated, nice and brown. And at this point, what we wanna do is a little trick. We're gonna remove our fillets. Because we dredged it in that flour, you see they've got some body to them. That's what we want. Hold together. All right, now, at this point, we're gonna add our shallots into our pan. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of diced fresh tomato. We add a teaspoon of garlic paste, and this would be the equivalent of one garlic clove. Now we're gonna to start to create our sauce. We're gonna deglaze our pan with clam juice. This would be the equivalent of like a fish stock. If you don't have this, you can find this in the store, you can use chicken stock, it's perfectly fine, but I love this clam juice. And then we're gonna hit it with a little lemon juice, about two tablespoons. And then I always want to season our sauce. Perfecto. Now, what you want to do here, 
You just want to let this reduce down by itself. This is creating a natural pan sauce. This is where people normally start to get worried and confused. But let me tell you, if you really want to up your kitchen game, learn how to make a beautiful pan sauce like this. Just reduce it down, give it some time, don't worry. You can see all the bubbles, that's the reduction process happening. That's what we want, all right? Once it comes down to about a quarter of the way, which we're almost there, we can start seeing the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to place our fish back in to our pan and let it absorb some of that delicious sauce that we have created. Look at that. Now we're gonna turn our heat completely off. We're gonna let this rest in here for about another two minutes and then we're gonna take it to the plate. We're gonna finish it off with some fresh herbs and we're gonna finish our sauce off with some whole unsalted butter. Check this out. All right, now you can see our beautiful fish has been sitting in this amazing sauce and now we're gonna take it to the plate. Just slowly and gently. Move it over into your platter, your family dinner plate, whatever you got going on. Oh, so delicious. This is incredibly healthy, very easy. 15 minutes from start to finish. Amazing. All right, now. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up our sauce. We're going to turn the heat back on. We're going to add some fresh herbs. In here, I've got a mixture of thyme, rosemary, and fresh basil. Okay? And then I've had some unsalted whole butter that I've just got cubed up here. Okay? Now, this is, again, the trick that everyone gets a little worried about. But what we're going to do is that this whole butter is actually going to thicken this sauce. Please, everybody, listen up. This is what's gonna separate you. You see how this is starting to reduce down. You have to have your burner on high and see this reducing down. Then you can start adding your butter. This is where an emulsification is going to happen and this whole butter is going to actually thicken up this sauce and it's going to add a creaminess like you would not believe. You do not need to always be adding heavy cream or milk to your sauces. Whole butter, unsalted, is where it's at. Look at that. See how that's coming together? Amazing. This is about two tablespoons of whole butter. Now, we turn the heat off and we are ready to finish our dish. All right, here we go. Look at this sauce. Look at that creaminess. Look at this. Lemon butter, tilapia. It could be flounder. It could be shrimp. It could be salmon. Whatever you want, that is what we're talking about. And the flavors are incredible. You know why? Well, we're gonna find out why. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. The flavors, the herbs, the tomato, the sauce is outstanding. The only thing you might want to add is maybe get yourself some crusty bread, some rusted bread. Maybe put a little garlic clove on there and rub it on there when it's hot. That gives you some natural garlic bread. You dip that in this sauce. You've got a meal like you would not believe. Lemon, herb, butter, tilapia. Again, flounder, shrimp, salmon, whatever you want to use, you can do it. 
simple one pan dish and a fresh pan sauce. Chef Brian's Kitchen right here. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you next time. And until then, please eat well and stay healthy.